Hey everybody, Mr. G here, and let's go over that application problem that was assigned to you guys today. So the problem went like this. It said in baseball, first base and home plate are about 30 yards away from each other. So let's make a picture here. We needed to use a number line to represent it. So the starting point, if we're thinking about a baseball field, here's home plate. And if you are on home plate and you haven't moved, how far have you traveled? Traveled zero yards. And here is first base. First base is 30 yards away. Okay. So we start with a number line. A number line can show the distance from point A to point B. We can show, um, we can use a number line to represent the passage of time. We could use a number line to represent how far away something is from another thing. We could use a number line to help us add and subtract. In this case, we're using a number line to show fractions. So that's why this is a little bit trickier. Okay, so if you remember, we had worked on that a little bit last week, placing fractions on a number line. So if we think of this as one whole, all right, we know that the batter got tagged out halfway between home place, home plate and first base. So the halfway point, where would we put that mark to show where, did, where the batter got tagged out? What, what's the halfway point? Well, it would be right here right? It's halfway between home plate and first base, but we don't know how far that is. We do know the fraction, however, okay? This is one half. A whole would be two halves, and if he hasn't moved at all, he has moved zero halves of the way there. So now what we need to do is we need to figure out, okay, how far did he travel? Well, if he is halfway there, we need to find what half of 30 is. How do we do that? You got to think of a few different things. One, what number multiplied by 2 is going to equal 30? Or if we split 30 in half, split it up into two equal parts, we divide it, then what will that number be? Okay, so take some time to think about how you can approach this. When I divide, something I like to use is the fair share method. Okay, we could use, pardon me, two groups. We know that there's 30 total. Okay, half of the way to home plate, we're going to figure out what 30 divided by 2 is in order to find that. So we're going to split 30 up into two equal groups, and we're going to stop when we get to 30. Seven. It's kind of hard to see. There we go. Okay, now I'm at 30. So I can see here that there are 15 in each. So how far did the batter travel? 15 yards. Hopefully you all found that helpful. That was today's application problem. Keep up the good work.